Tuesday. Yes, it's Tuesday. Everybody, good to see you all. So an army of seven nations can't stop his Trump frustrations. Former rock star Jack White just got pissy over people being polite to the former prez. And since his music has been selling about as well as a Hunter Biden painting, <laughs> White decided to make headlines the old-fashioned way by reminding people that you are evil if you ever shake Trump's hand. The disgruntled grunter wrote on Instagram, anybody who normalizes or treats this disgusting, fascist, racist, con man, disgusting piece of <laughs> Trump with any level of respect is also disgusting in my book. And that's you, Joe Rogan, you, Mel Gibson, you, Mark Wahlberg, you, Guy Fieri. <laughs> Guy Fieri, he went there. To punctuate his keen analysis, White included pictures of these evil celebrities at Saturday's UFC event, mingling and shaking hands with evil Trump. Gibson, Wahlberg, Fieri, Fieri Rogan. It sounds like he's listing people way more successful than him. <laughs> By the way, the Gibson photo is actually from 2021, as if that matters, because then White added, this is a statement from me, not a discussion or debate. Well, I'm glad he cleared that up. <laughs> I was just about to invite him to my book club. Well, too bad, Jack, because you are a big phony. You sung at Loretta Lynn's funeral, and she endorsed Trump, so knock it off. And debate is kind of what we do here in the good old U.S. of A., you pale, pud-pulling pissant. <laughs> it was alliterative. But what a typical left-winger. All he cares about is Trump while people beat each other up in cages for money. So what were Rogan and Wahlberg supposed to do anyway? Tackle Trump to the ground and try to peel back his orange devil mask? <laughs> Maybe that's what Jack White would do. He doesn't seem like a people person. This was his reaction when he realized, take me out to the ball game. <laughs> it's more popular than anything he's ever written. By the looks on his face, he appears to have mistaken his seat for a porto potty. <laughs> but none of this bothers me, and it doesn't bother you. Who cares what White thinks anyway? This is a monologue merely to remind you that only stupid people still use the phrase normalize. By shaking Trump's hands, you normalize Trump. Nearly 80 million people voted for the guy. Some of them were once your fans. He's our 45th president. You can't get much more normalized than that these days. But with these whiny stars, it's always about normalizing and weaponizing, but rarely ever civilizing. I mean, going after Guy Fieri, he's like the nicest guy in the world. Sure, he's got hair like a lesbian firefighter. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> but he raised over 25 million bucks to help restaurant workers during the pandemic. And Mark Wahlberg, everybody knows he's an active supporter of veterans charities, but more important, he led the Funky Bunch. <laughs> that brought tame rap music and abs to millions of preteens who needed it badly. But Wahlberg lost cool points for being too nice to Trump. But again, that's Jack White's problem. Again, you see how intensely some children have been broken by Trump. So much so that being civil in public becomes an evil endorsement. I once held a door open for Brian Kilmeade. It doesn't mean I don't hate him. <laughs> Ugh. But it shows you that White isn't interested in solutions. Rather, he's part of the problem. A recent study claims nasty politics haven't been higher since the Civil War. Which is kind of funny since they said that first under Trump and blamed him for it, but now it's worse under a Democrat. So what's that tell you? Well, that it never was about Trump. It was the overwrought response to him. Like this dweeb now, you could call it white supremacy. Jack White supremacy. <laughs> I know, clever, huh? <laughs> El elites who felt so superior to those deplorables who won in 2016, uh, that they had to weaponize their celebrity to marginalize these Trumpers. They normalized degradation to millions, which is what Hitler did. See, I can be a liberal too. But even if you don't respect the man in office, you're allowed to respect the office of the president. It's all part of growing up. For example, I still respect the office of president, even though Joe Biden keeps forgetting he's in it. <laughs> hey, remember the time Joe tried to shake hands with me? Well, at least I was there in spirit.
<laughs> so, Jack, quit acting like a mean girl and get back to the music. I just heard some of your most recent stuff. Oof. I'm gonna fight them all. A seven nation army couldn't hold me back. They're gonna rip it off. Taking their time right behind my back. Seven nation army! <laughs> Nice. <laughs> Better than his older stuff. Let's welcome tonight's guest. She has eight points on her license for talking too fast. <laughs> Host of the Fox True Crime podcast, Emily Campagno. <laughs> Don't you dare applaud him. He's frightened by unfamiliar sounds. Award-winning comedian, Kurt Metzger. <laughs> That doctor has to put the blood pressure cuff around her waist. Fox <laughs> News contributor, Cat Tube. <laughs> and at the gym, his spotters also need spotters. My massive sidekick in the NWA's World Heavyweight Champion, Tyrus. <laughs> Emily, uh, would this ever mean anything to you if it was somebody else? Like, this is, I just find this story so silly. That's why I did it. But isn't it funny? I mean, like, if, would this actually bother you if it was somebody you really, really cared about? You mean that it was Jack White saying that or yeah. about Trump? Yeah. No. And I think you, you hit the nail on the head so many times in your monologue. Oh, thank you. That it's, um, that it's Jack White's problem. Yeah. And it's emblematic of everyone with derangement syndrome. It's emblematic of everyone with the approach to Trump that he is the end-all be-all, and it means nothing whether you've raised 25 million for the restaurant industry, whether you've saved animals and children, where you've elevated the, the dialogue and the intellectual caliber of this country, whether you were part of Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch, which is the number one thing that you could ever do to make life amazing. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter about all those contributions. If you they voted were a for- a Funky Bunch, weren't they? <laughs> if you voted for Trump, <laughs> we've covered it on this show. They don't want to have you at the Thanksgiving table. They don't want to date you. They don't want to have you room with them in college. It's the absolute final point to end and sever any type of relationship whatsoever. And never mind the fact that, yes, he was our president and served a full term, but that he lowered unemployment rates for underserved communities and minorities and elevated education rates for the same, that there's a reason why those in minority populations were flocking to his policies and to him still to this day, including double-digit points in states. Like, the list goes on of how that person and his policies affected Americans for the better. But people like Jack White will never see beyond that, and they'll never see beyond the contributions positively of those people that dared to shake his hand to then sever them publicly. You know, Kurt, it's a funny, it's a funny contrast, because it happens at an MMA fight, and like Jack White's upset that they shook hands. It's like, it's an MMA, it's, it's, it's just so bizarre. I, I mean, he's got blue hair, dude, but I, I like, <laughs> I thought like The Apprentice normalized Trump. I, maybe, I believe the moment yes. when he was normalized with Jeff Zucker, that's when they gain a function to Trump. Yeah. And he leaked out and they got a whole panic and had to lock everything down. <laughs> yes. Uh, you know, and I never dreamed that liberal darling Guy Fieri. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they all loved Guy Fieri before this. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, has now become the Dylan Mulvaney of people who watch Jen Psaki. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it is true, though, because, like, all of the people that claim how disgusting Trump is. We're all over him for 25, 30 years. Did you read the Guy Fieri restaurant reviews? Yes. When his restaurant came out? Yeah. They were better than what Jack, they were not as good as what Jack White said. Yeah, exactly. Kat, uh, did this break your heart as a fan of the White Stripes? No, I'm still a fan and I still think he's hot. <laughs> Before, <laughs> Edward's his or hand. Speaking of hot, uh, we should watch this. What? How will the show be different in our new time slot? Well, for one thing, we're going to give the viewers what they've been asking for, which is 10% less, Greg. Gutfeld, now airing one hour earlier, beginning July 17th. Why are you applauding? Yeah. Just you a little don't... bit less. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Does that mean we get out early? I wish. Does that mean, that mean you're going to give us 10% more cat? I don't have more to give. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's uh, above my pay bracket. Yeah. <laughs> just shave a little Greg off. Yes, exactly. Perfect. I'm just going to speak less so it's, it doesn't feel like it's 10%, but I'll still be here. <laughs> yeah, well, okay, so Jack White. 
Yes. I think he could use more ideological diversity in the circle that he hangs out in. Mm -hmm. Because he, I guess, saying something like this thinks that a lot of people are gonna be like, yeah, you don't wanna demonize huge segments of the population. You're really also kind of cheating yourself because there could be people who vote a certain way that you might have something in common with. I think that the left is worse at this. I think the right can do it too. If you're somebody who's like in a comment section, like Democrats, I call them demon rats. Like you also need to go outside and meet a person. <laughs> who are you imitating there? <laughs> the internet. <laughs> Uh, He's I, got blue hair. I mean, what do you want? I, yeah. yeah, I just, I, I think that really we're not doing ourselves any favors because this is how the government gains more power by f pushing us against each other, pitting us against each other. We're all distracted and then they just gain more and more control over us. Mm. Listen, I, I get it. Record sales are down. If your TV ratings are down, if you, you know, your, your girl's mad at you, blame Trump. Yeah. Because everyone goes, what, Trump? So we're talking about this guy, I, I don't even know who the hell he is, <laughs> because he did what? He punched up, went after everybody, mm -hmm. and he said Trump, and Trump is the magic word. If you say Trump, people will pay attention. So, but you forget in a capitalistic society, you want everyone to buy your stuff. Mm -hmm. So you pissed off half the country, and then you went, and maybe all the country's not hip on politics, but they love Wahlberg, mm -hmm. they, love, they love Mel, everyone loves, Mm -hmm. The little cook guy. <laughs> and you just pissed them off. So there's, let's say, 25%. Yeah. So now you have a perfectly good excuse when you go back to your manager and goes, it's not my fault that three quarters of the country and the planet hates me. Because he has no record sales, so this is how you get relevant. We see it all the time. Reporters are doing it for book deals. Acosta was doing his thing, and then where is he now? Mm -hmm. yeah. they, I think he's on CNN Plus. I think yeah. Yeah, he's doing over can, there. Can I tell you why I resent Trump? Um, because how come he used to do all the edgy material? Yes, <laughs> it's true. I got to watch it like I'm running he's not office. Because when you're cancel <laughs> yeah. free, yeah. like truck, Trump's bills are paid for. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like my truck's paid for. F you cancel me. I don't care. I'll go yeah. fishing. Like when you get to a point where you don't care about what the so-called masses say, you just yeah. move on. Your, yeah. Someone's truck is paid for, too. You know what I'm talking about, because I can get in my truck and drive away. <laughs> yes, it's like being cancer-free, but I thought he's cancer-free. Cancer I thought he's yeah. cancer-free, and then None go, of no, us but... are cancer-free. I'm cancel-free. Cancel-free. Oh, yeah. I've paid all my oh, off. Oh, yeah. I already got cancer. So I don't got to fly a couple extra weeks a month? Cool, I'm out. Yeah. All right. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.